Greetings and salutations, everyone. I was sent, not terribly long ago, a review code for a game called Intake, brought to us by the same people who brought us Splice and Auditorium. Cypher Prime, I do believe they're called. Heck, we've had them on the podcast before. And Intake, a little bit different than what they've been doing so far, but interesting nonetheless. What you can see in the background there is pretty much it for the gameplay, but I want to say from the beginning, I love how they're bringing this across. They've got that high vertical look, strictly arcade. They even started out with a little like ROM check for when you boot up an arcade game. And it had that really old like winners don't take drugs thing going. And it says, insert coin at top. Coins don't matter. You're not using coins for this. It's a mouse-driven game, and you can click to actually start the game. And we can see here, this is our tutorial. Really? Left click will fire on your cursor. Right click will change color. At any given time, there will be two different colored pills coming down, and you have to shoot the correct one with the correct color gun, I suppose. You can do a little bit with the keyboard if you want to, but... Eh. But that's about the size of it. Mouse click uh, styled game, there's a bit more to it than this, but we'll get to that once I uh, do a little run here and let's see what happens. If I can change blue, orange... Orange, 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 orange. Hey, level two! When you level up, a bunch of little pills show up. The pills are your currency, so to say. That was me kind of fudging up royally right there at the last second. This early on, too, man, that feels... Feels terrible, but it'll give me a chance to like show you what's going on. I've made it so much further than that, I feel embarrassed. So once you finish, you get your score, you get a little bonus game at the end where you can earn a little bit more score, and the MG is your total money. MG, I just earned 510 in that one. I've previously earned 15,000 or so. In general, I think last time I did this, I got like 9,000 or so. I made it way to like level 25. But you can use that MG to buy various upgrades. And power-ups, upgrades and the like. You see this one says gameplay, which it essentially gives you more lives. Right now you only have one life, so if I get this, I'll have more lives. That sounds pretty alright to me. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. And then down here, there's, say, this one, which I've already purchased one upgrade of. This was the little mushroom that you saw floating down the screen. I was... that was half of what confused me. I wasn't sure if I wanted to click on it or not. But this is a power-up that I had purchased. Having purchased it, it'll now slowly bounce down the screen every so often, and if I shoot it, all the pills get bigger. Then there is Brief Invincibility, Slow Motion, Lightning. I kind of like that one. That one. I'm down to just 5,000. And there are more that I just simply don't have the money for, such as these here. Yeah, I do have enough money. I could buy something else. I think I'll save up, though. Let's try this again. Hopefully I won't do, like, as terribly. Level 2! I need some money. It's on the wrong color. That was my own fault.
getting there. Slowly but surely. Do I have lives? I thought I got lives. When you finish the stage, if there are any pills left over, they will change into... Or if there are any pills left over, they'll change into more of the score pills there. I got an achievement. Probably for using that lightning when there weren't anything, there wasn't anything for it to hit. Some of these are bombs. Ooh, that was nice. And it'll actually blow up any other pills nearby, regardless of color. Sorry for all of you that out there that don't like dubstep. Personally, I'm... I won't go out of my way to like dubstep, but I think it can be done decently. I have yet to run into any frame rate problems. In fact, the title screen of this game, which has the game running in the background, runs it somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 FPS. There was a little bit of lag when I got the heart from before, so I'm not really sure how that works. Sometimes I'm glad the levels end when they do. I would have a hard time, like, hitting the pills. That one was getting a little sketchy. I know you're not supposed to shoot your the same colored pill. are short, thankfully. You get, like, a breather every now and then. Right when it starts to get, like, super chaotic. Level 25! Level well, 25 is actually sort of a milestone. Oh, dear. Hearing me.
Holy crap! I have no idea how I was supposed to deal with that. Heck with it, shooting all of them! Shooting all of them and hoping for the best! That works somehow. I'm not sure what the penalty is for clicking the... Oh, jeez. Okay, you don't want to click the ones without color at all. That's something new that I did not know. Acceleration! Oh, come on! Holy crap! Alright, well, that's it all of that. Well, I got a fair amount of money out of that one. <laughs> And we can buy new stuff. Heck yeah, look at all this new stuff we can buy. I get the feeling I'm going to want more of this bad, but 25,000 is a bit much. Now these are all ridiculously expensive, but I can get more of these. And if I wanted, I could go down here and get these even, which are get more music, as well as adding new colors. For the purposes of gameplay, I would probably want to get the... those two. I think I'll get this one, just so we see what happens. Now, I know when I hit level 25 last time I played through this, it actually gave me the option to start at again at level 25, subsequently. And I don't know if it's going to let me do that this time. No, I'm starting back on level one. But there is some vague form of progression. You can start at the later level, as we saw before. I'm not really sure what exactly happened with that. But a lot of this is strictly arcade-style score attack. There are leaderboards, there are... Again, all the upgrades you can get. There's, in fact, one upgrade you can get, since this game is at least slightly inspired by Ikaruga. Well, with the color swapping and the like. There is actually an upgrade you can get in this game that gives you just a straight-up shooter. It gives you a ship. That one's kind of expensive. But I would say for as simple as this is, there's actually a surprising amount of interesting things done in it. Beyond collecting all the various upgrades, which is enough to keep me going for a fair amount of time. I don't know how much it'll keep my attention in the long run. And in that regard, I suppose I should say that the game is currently on Steam for $10. So I would say for as much as there is here, $10 may be a little bit steep for some people. But I think there is enough here to keep your attention for a fair amount of time. So that's a decision you're going to have to make for yourself whether or not that's worth it. I, I will say I am actually rather enjoying it, though. Though I have a very hard time commentating at the same time. Got a heart. I don't know what does.
despite that I was having so little lag before, and I would keep in mind that I am also frapsing this at the moment, so there, there's a piece of bad news. But I am getting a little bit of lag every now and then, which is something that I did not experience at all when I was... Did I have to equip the... Hold up, let me... Kill myself off here. Did I have to equip the different music? Oh, I gotta... I have multiple lives. So many of these. I was thinking at first, like, oh, I should be able to shoot all of those without too much trouble. No. Yeah, with the music down here, let's see here. Well, I can right click and still change color. Like, change the color of the UI. That is interesting. Oh well, I don't know how it works. I got enough to buy either invincibility or slow mode. Yeah, there's a big unequip button down there, but I don't see anything for that, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it works. There's also achievements in the game. Plenty of achievements. Many of which I don't have, even remotely. But I would say, I would like to say, for as simple a concept as this is, I think they've added a fair amount to it, and it is still very fun and engaging. Especially near the end there, holy crap, I did not know that, like, all that stuff was going to happen at the end. Holy crap. I'm, I'm actually curious what would happen had I kept going. We saw the acceleration mode, we saw the flood mode. I'm wondering what happened with the start at level 25 thing that happened from before. But I suppose... That'll have to wait until I play this game some more on my own time. So until next time, everyone, this has been Intake, brought to us by Cypher Prime, currently available on Steam for $10. Until next time, everyone. <laughs>